And so I just sat down here and I just take a look at my hair. So take a look at what is in my hair. Here I have paint. Yes, guys. I was doing some painting today. <laughs> anyway, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to our live show. Tonight we're going to talk about oils. Yes, by popular demand. People tend to like when we do the shows on oils. So we're bringing oils tonight. We're going to talk about oils that are good for dark on the eye circles, puffy eyes, and eye bags. Now, we all know that these happen, and most of us will have some form of a dark circles one way or the other. So I have a bunch of oils tonight that we're going to get through. And um, guess what, guys? I just finished having a dinner, so I'm full, so the show won't be boring tonight. I am not in a hurry to go, you know, find something to eat. Now, it's Saturday night, and we are here with our live show. Now, for this live show, you are free to comment. You're free to chime in. You're free to... You know put your two cent in and you're free to ask a question because we have a bunch of oils tonight that is all geared towards a dark on the eye circles puffy eyes and eye bags now when it comes on to taking care of your under eyes there are some rules that we have on this channel so we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about some of the rules that we have and then we're going to share some oils now i am a little um warm today and i noticed my face look a little warm i just came inside here to sit down so welcome jill welcome keisha welcome maya welcome julie welcome margaret and cynthia karen Mottersill, renee hunty nina who else is here claudia um we have um she Shaquilla, I think that is a Passad and Passad. We find a lot of Passad in places like Guyana. Guys, I'm popping out of my clothes tonight. It's funny enough, you know, um, this top that I'm wearing. Look at that. The honest truth is the reason why it's twisting up like that. I didn't, you know, do any ironing. Who like the summertime? I like the summertime, but when it comes on to ironing clothes, it's not up my alley. I really do not like that. I like the winter when I could just throw a sweater on and no ironing. Anyway, we are here. Um, ma, ma, sang, ma sang, um, or ma sang ji. Um, hello, Chichi, my skin is damaged. How to correct it? You're at the right place because we are going to give you some advice. Now, how many of you out here is struggling with dark on the eye circles? If you're struggling with dark on the eye circles, come in. How many of you out here is struggling with eye bags? If you're struggling with that, go ahead and comment. How many of you out here are just looking get, to get rid of wrinkles under the eyes? You're struggling with that? Comment, comment, comment. We have some remedies for you tonight. Um, Ali, I really don't, um, I really, I don't really have eye bags, but notice that I have, um, I have at today. So today you look at your, you know, and you notice that you have eye bags. So that is normal. All right, guys, we want to get the show to be really lively tonight. I don't want to come on here all down. So we're going to have some nice little pop up in the show tonight to make it fun and exciting. So where are you all watching from and what time is it? Now, let me see the chat light up. Where are you all watching from and what time is it? We're going to dive into the odds, but I like to know where people are watching from. I'm going to start first. I am actually broadcasting from Brooklyn, New York, and it is 737 um, p.m. Now, where are you watching from? What is the time of the day or what is the time of the night? Now, Jill don't like to iron either. It is not my cup of tea. Um, we have... Um, Crystalline Carter, my eyes are starting to have allergy lines from sinus problems. Dark circles. Now we have Greensboro, North Carolina, and that is Orchid Angel. And we have Coral Stanford from Alabama, and it is, um, where is that? 6.30. I just learned something. So here in the 
Oh, so we're not on the same time. So Alabama is like right in the center. So you are one hour behind. That means you guys don't turn the clock or you don't you don't do this clock forward. Um, something to that effect. Chicago, woo, Chicago is six forty. I am just learning something. And I know New Jersey, we're on the same time. Renee is from Chicago and it's six forty. And um Michelle is from Virginia, it's seven thirty, and United Kingdom is a uh, Believe it or not, 12 midnight, um, 38 minutes after midnight. Now we have Australia, it's bright and morning, it's breakfast time, and it is 9.37. And we have um, Winnipeg, Manitoba, that's Canada, and it is 6.30. So what I know, I'm know, i noticing right now, however, I'm living Canada time, is 7.30, 7.30. Okay, so depending on where you're living in Canada, you might, so if you're living closer to, um, you know, way up, way up, um, I totally forget what, where I was going to say, then you're going to be having um, a hour ahead. And if you're living closer to, to New York, um, then it's going to be um, right on our time. So Jill, Arizona, four, so Arizona, Las Vegas, well, Las Vegas is, okay, so Nevada, Las Vegas, um, LA, you're all um, three hours behind, so it's four something, so it's just almost a dinner time there. I, um, Patricia, we are the same province, okay? All right, so people, should we have, like, start a, a little friendly, there's a lot of things that we want to start on this channel, guys. What we want to start, I want to start a group, okay? And I wanted to be, and I was talking about this recently, where you know we are ladies, because I noticed on the live chat a lot of people are connecting. So I want to start a group where we could all connect together. I'm just not sure what platform. Maybe it's gonna be on another platform. Not sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. Where we can actually get together as a, a group of a, a women, we can discuss things, we can talk about things. We you know can just share ideas and all of that in a more open environment where we could really say things as is because I could see people really getting together and you know getting to know each other from the chat now um west coast three hours um Arkansas 639 okay so I could see those areas are um one hour behind that means the clock does not turn back how many are you watching from New York if you're watching from New York comment if you're watching from New York comment Comment, comment. And if you're watching from the Philippines, comment, comment, comment. We want to see. Now, if you're just joining, we're talking about oils tonight, but we want to get the chat lively up. So we want people to say, you know, where they're watching from and all of that. And people are watching from all over. Julie's watching from Trinidad. And Karen is in New York. Yeah, um, and Austin is in Jersey. Yes, we said Jersey. All right, New Jersey. And um, most people in New York just say Jersey. And if you're in Jersey, you just say Jersey, right? All right, so Renee, my sister do a woman group on Zoom. All right. All right, so I probably should write that down because that's a, a good platform where we could actually um, meet. All right, so then we'll find a way to issue out. So if you want to be a part of that, all right, all of you watching right now, if you think that you'd want to be a part of that group, send an email to chichibuti at gmail.com. And the reason why we are asking for the email, so when we, whenever we're going to start that group, then we could just send out the notification through the email. But that is an amazing idea to have it like that. So definitely send the information you want to be a part of this woman group that we're going to form which we will have a get together at least once a week and we could really chit chat then send an email to chichibuti at gmail.com and here is the um email address on here just if you want to be a part of it i know most of us is looking for something like that where we could really chit chat all right so I know sometimes when I'm talking, people tend to click off, but I want to connect and I feel the need that we could create something amazing just by forming an amazing group where we can be free and be our sub. MS is watching from um, UK and it's 12.40 a.m. 
so you guys are five hours ahead sometimes you're five sometimes you're six and um um crystal is in philly and you see a uh, philly not philadelphia now but a uh, philly you can know when people are really from there all right and so, um, we are gonna move on so with that said we know where people are watching and so far we only have one person watching from new york how many of you are watching from the beautiful sunny island of jamaica if you're watching from Jamaica, come in, come in. And I'm still waiting to see if there's anyone watching from the Philippines. Now, dark on the ice circle. Diana is from New York. And we have um, K. Michelle. Is that the real K. Michelle? You know, anyway, watching from um, Washington, Washington, D.C. And um, Carleen Charles is watching from trinidad and tobago all right so you're here for doc on the ice circles and we're gonna really give it to you tonight now there is a catch to tonight's show however you will not know what that catch is if you click off too early from the show so make sure even if you have to go do something make sure the sound is on so when that time comes around you will know what is up with us tonight Fun and excitement. We want the show to, you know, get um going. Now we have our um, Marcian watching from Jamaica, and we all know Kisha. Everyone on the chat. It's only the newbies don't know that you are watching from Jamaica. All right, guys. Facial um eye oils for dark on the eye circles. If you're here, we are gonna share some oils that can have. To get rid of dark on the eye circle and we also um jim frederico how are you welcome and we have um lihila I, I might mess that up um l-e-i-l-a watching from jamaica and um somalia is 3 a.m and that's 3 a.m in the morning and shout out to all my subscribers that are watching from jamaica shout out to everyone that is watching wherever you are watching from around the world someone sent me an email recently and like you know i noticed you're jamaican but when you are on the chat you don't really big up the jamaicans which is far from the truth so tonight i'm taking the time how to big up my my family really um my fellow jamaican subscribers all right so we are here for doc on the ice circles watch someone is watching from sydney australia jackie is watching from maryland i haven't been to maryland for a while and um keisha jill magdalene make up forever and La julie and lioness welcome to our live show tonight so if you're all happy to be here comment give the video a thumbs up and if you're here and you have not subscribe subs hit the subscribe button and also guys if you want to contribute something to our channel hit the dollar sign if you want to join the channel hit the join sign and also if you have a burning question you can also hit that dollar sign and ask your question that is what they are there for all right so let's talk about um watching from the job in Manhattan and that is Cynthia and Linus where are you watching from um rosie green welcome to the live chat all right let's talk about dark on the eye circles how many of you have those i used to have those and sometimes i still do how many of you struggle with puffy eyes comment if you struggle with puffy eyes now when it comes on to dark on the eye circles and puffy eyes you know all of that could be from staying up a few hours past your bedtime you could also find that you have like poor circulation going on you might also find and that your agent to be honest that also bring on the dark on the eye circles and the puffy eyes however they are remedies that you can use they're natural stuff that you can use to control the dark on the eyes the puffy eyes and also the eye bags so the first oil that we're going to talk about is going to be pretty new to some of you but it's going to be like now it has become like an oldest for most of my regular subscribers and this is one oil that we have here this is the kiwi oil now if you know anything about kiwi it contains more vitamin c 
than oranges. Yes, it does. But this is not the flesh of the kiwi. This is actually the kiwi seed oil. Okay. Now the kiwi seed oil is one of the richest natural source of vitamin C. And that is why I'm telling you that it is, you know, have more vitamin C than orange. And it is also one of the richest source of a natural oil of vitamin E. It also contains potassium and magnesium. And it's a remarkable stable source of omega-3 fatty acid and it's helped for dark circles but guess what it also does it helps with puffy eyes and eye bags and it is really hydrating for dry skin so if you are out there and you're looking for oil you have never tried the kiwi oil it's become like very very common these days I stumbled on this oil all over a year now, and I normally introduce it to the channel because it is really a good oil for your skin. And the beauty about this kiwi oil is that you can use it directly on the skin, or you can mix it with other oils, or you can mix it in your homemade DIY, or better yet, guys, if you have an eye cream that you're using and you want to kick it up a notch, one to two drops of the kiwi oil now this is not a sponsored video all of these are my oils that i'm sharing with you so if you want to kick up your um your under eye cream or dark circle remedy that you're using you had one to two drops of this kiwi oil in it and it's gonna help to transform the dark on the eyes also it's gonna help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines under the eyes now if you think about the kiwi for me i think it smells like um olive not um olive oil to be honest however it is one oil and this one that i have don't have a dropper but look at that it also looks like olive oil it's have a very very rich color now if you know anything about um the kiwi you know the seeds are extremely fine like extremely fine so to extract that seed it goes through the process of washing off the flesh of the kiwi and leaving um that little fine 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 seed believe it or not and then they put it to a process where they crush all of that seeds uh, together and create this oil now this kiwi oil that i'm using is a first press cold press there's no heat source for this one if you apply heat source to it it will damage the vital vitamin c and vitamin e so no heat source first press cold press um kiwi seed oil definitely smells like olive oil and someone recently asked me if it is edible and i said no and i also said it depends on the process however this particular um, kiwi seed oil that i have right here is made for skincare use okay made for skincare use i still will have to go and check to find out if they have an edible version of this because just by smelling this kiwi seed oil i feel like you could make a good salad dressing all right but no um for now it's only made to apply topically on the skin so if you know let me ask you out there has anyone of you watching right now tried the kiwi oil before if you have tried the kiwi oil comment 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 and since i am not sure whether or not they have the edible version Comment if you know anything about the kiwi oil. Do they have an edible version of the kiwi oil? Because if they do, that's the one I would buy over this one. But I doubt that they do. But, um, you know, sometimes you guys know even more than I do. So if you have tried the kiwi oil before, comment, comment, comment. As a matter of fact, how many of you watching really, really know kiwi? How many of you watching has um, actually eat a kiwi before? Because, you know, I know some fruits, you don't get it in certain countries, okay? Now, when I was living in Jamaica, I was not, you know, um, familiar with a kiwi. I read about it and all of that. But it's since I get uh, migrate here that I, you know, you know, get familiar with the kiwi and I tend to consume it a lot. So I know some people might not have, have even tried the kiwi. But I'm here to tell you, if you're trying to get your skin to look bright, radiant, and if you're trying, especially nowadays when we need to load up on vitamin C and you can tolerate eating a kiwi, go ahead and eat your kiwi. Cut it up, slice it up, and eat it. Sometimes they're very sour. Sometimes you get some sweet ones. But if you can get it, eat it because you are loading up on vitamin C, which is more than even eating an orange. 
let me hear your comment guys if you're watching you have tried kiwi before comment 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 let me hear claudia eat kiwi all the time cynthia is kiwi oil or kiwi it's it is kiwi seed oil kiwi seed oil so kiwi seed oil okay all right um let's see who else is here i eat it all the time um jill i have to add that oil to my list and that is taryn and jill having conversation jacqueline dallas love it seed and all okay yes yeah. so um um car um carlene never seen kiwi but here people say it's good but isn't so see what i mean and that is what i'm saying when we're broadcasting that was the reason why we asked all around um you know who have tried the kiwi before and if you have and some people might not have because of their location now i want you all tonight to watch and pay attention because we have a word tonight in the show that that word at the end of the show we are going to ask a few people to guess the word of our uh, of the night and the word of the night we are going once you get it right the first set of people like first three people that get it right we have a little surprise coming up on the show so do not click off continue watching and if you have to go get something keep the video playing so that you could hear what is going on so one person is allergic to it and maybe it is because of the fuzz okay the fuzz from the outside and um lila always watch your video and um sharon i drink maybe drink kiwi we have a second person that is allergic to kiwi wow you see i love my show because i learn so much on the show and i want to ask you when you actually consume kiwi what happened does it like itches your throat or itches your skin because it's very very isn't the green kiwi you see some people are saying um things that i didn't know it's just like star apple and um though some people might call star apple a different name on um, like you know they're saying like the green star apple might be poisonous and all of that i really do not know if green kiwi is poisonous however i i personally when i'm eating kiwi it's never ever the overripe kiwi it's always somewhere between the green greenish like you know that for exporting when you export like these fruits they're never ever ripe because by the time it gets to the location, it might be overripe. So when I buy kiwi and I feel them, they're near, normally very, very hard. But I have no idea that um, kiwi is a poisonous. So you know, I am gonna go do my research because as I said, I have no idea. Kiwi is new to me, let's say for the past 20 something years, but I like to talk. And I like when you all comment and chime in and let us know. So let me hear from you. I do know it has antibacterial properties and it is also great for like scrapes and bruises. So you might be onto something, but I definitely will research it. Now, Claudia, we have them in green flesh and in golden flesh in Canada. Oh my goodness. I would love to get my hands on a golden kiwi. So both green and, 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 and yellow. And see, I'm learning again because I did not know that they have the yellow kiwi. So kiwi oil is what we're talking about. It is the skin. So I definitely know that's what you were gonna come with. Because for me, I tried using the kiwi on my skin before like just peeling and I make a video with it and you don't notice that, that I, even though I know it is rich in vitamin C, very, very strong vitamin C, that means it is great for brightening the skin, but I tried it and the first time I make it, I didn't peel it and it itches my skin and that was a red flag because of the fire from the outside. The second time I make it, it didn't itch my skin, but I was so aware of it that, you know, I just didn't bother to make any more videos using the kiwi, but the oil i discover and the oil is amazing okay the oil is amazing i use this religiously and um ever since i found this i use it under my eyes i mix it with my other oils for my under eyes and it has worked tremendously and also if you do your research you'll find other people telling you that it works especially for dark on the eye circles and it had to boost the circulation because of the rich amount of vitamin c and vitamin e in the kiwi oil now if you're watching give us a 
thumbs up and nina said it burns her tongue really it's like so amazing to me to know that this is what goes on with kiwi so definitely if you cannot you know do the kiwi stay away from it okay however this is like from the seed so i if you're gonna use it definitely put a little tester on your hand on your hands before you apply because to me if you can't eat it then nothing from it should you know you shouldn't use it any at all whether the oil i do know you have some fruits and vegetables that you might not be able to eat but you can use the oil and so on and so forth for me if i like that i love the kiwi but to each his own if i can't eat the kiwi i'm not gonna mess with the oil but if you are all good with kiwi this is a good oil that you can use for your dark on the eye circles and we actually have the link in the description box below and on this live chat there's some pin if you're watching and you see a little thing product list pop up on your screen if you click on that link you will also find all the products that we're going to talk about tonight in the show how many of you is seeing that on your feed like product link when you click on the video if you see product link on the video you can click on it and you find all the products in the show tonight now let's take a few questions and we are gonna move on remember tonight we're gonna have a secret word in our video so you need to listen carefully for that secret word we're not gonna say what it is but at the end of the show we're gonna the last 15 minutes of the show we're gonna ask for that secret word and you definitely once you watch the show will know the secret word all right so we are moving on we did oil number one so i learned a lot so far the show just started and i'm learning so much about kiwi that i never ever know before now we're gonna move on and we're gonna talk about a second oil that is good for dark on the eye circle. Now let's look at this oil. This is a squalane, S-Q-U-A-L-A-N-E. And the reason I'm spelling that out is there is a two different kinds of squalene, okay? Two different kinds of squalene. Now the body actually make its own squalene oil and that is squalene with an E. So it's S-Q-U-A-L-E-N-E. -E. If you come across that word S-Q-U-A-L-E-N-E, -E, that is a squalene and that is the one that the body produces. It actually produced that in the sweat glands, in, in the sebum, okay? And guess what? Just like collagen, as we age, the squalene production tend to slow down. Our body don't produce enough. The squalene oil help to give the skin the softness. The squalene oil help your skin to look fresh. It's squalene oil help to look help your skin to look hydrated and it keep your skin from looking dry. That is that come out in that sweat, come through the pores. And as I said, as we age, all of that start to diminish. So what mankind did was to try to find a way to put back that squalene in the skin, which is very, very vital. And that is how you get squalene, which is on the, um, on the, on the feed right there. So the difference is the squalene, which is S-Q-U-A-L-E-N-E, -E, body produced that. The squalene is the mana made um, oil to replace the squalene. If you understand what I'm saying, make a comment right now. So don't get confused when you see it. Now you know the difference right here. Now, the squalene oil really helps to plump that skin up and it makes your skin feel soft and smooth. It is oil ideal for moisturizing around the lips and under the eyes. The oil is non-irritating. Where's my squalene right now? So I have a little bottle here. It's non-irritating and it makes it an amazing oil for even sensitive skin. Now let's talk about the man-made squalene, okay? Now the man-made squalene oil is made from olive okay most time you're gonna find that it's made from olive it's gonna be um from bran and it is even made from like shark liver believe it or not now the here comes the little little difference now if you are vegan or vegetarian that is 
and you're searching for your square lane, you're gonna make sure to look to see what that square lane, um, let me just say square lane, so that you guys don't confuse. They're both pronounced square lane, but square lean, as I said earlier, with the E is made by the body, and the one with the A is made from, by man, from fruits and vegetable and fish. Okay, let's, we are saying fish because it is made from, you know, shark liver. Now, if you are vegan or vegetarian, as I said, turn your bottle around and look to see what it is made from. Whether you're getting the one that is made from olive oil or bran, or you're getting the one that is made from shark liver. I'm all 90% sure that you do not have the one for, made from shark liver in abundant anymore because they kind of cut that out and they're just trying to make it from the olive oil and the brand. So rarely, I'm not even sure what country now you're going to find the one that is made from shark liver. Rice bran, and guess what? Another thing that they make the squalene from is also sugar cane. So you're going to have a sugar cane olive oil um not olive oil but olive rice bran and the shark liver which is, nowadays that is almost faded out i guess in the beginning when they were really trying to get that back that oil they figured that you know maybe if we go buy you know get it from the fish because last cycle you have cod liver oil and you have um some form of a um fish oil that you get for the omega-3 from the fish i figured they think that maybe we could just get the the squalene from the fish but it didn't really take the market that much so now they turn to another source which is plant-based which is olive rice bran and even sugar cane to get this amazing squalene oil this one that i have here is made from olive and it is good for your skin overall not only your dark on the eye circles but all over the skin you can use it i um mine have a little dropper here let me show you mine i'm it's, it's a little goes a long way i already have oil on my hand but i'm just going to show you what this squalene look like very very light oil and fragrant wise basically nothing the, funny enough you would think that it smell like olive oil but it don't it doesn't smell like olive oil at all it's a light oil and it's a perfect anti-aging oil good for dark on the eye circle pat it under your eyes uh, massage under your eyes clean skin that is good for wrinkles under the eyes good for eye bags Put it on and leave it there. Go to sleep with it overnight and wake up and watch your dark circles and your eye bags just slowly disappear. Any question and squalene, go ahead and comment. Let's take some comment and then we're going to move on. We have Jacqueline who now become our member. Welcome to membership, Jackie. And, uh, you know, we want to take the time how to welcome you. You now have a say in what goes on on the channel. You can send to us, say you didn't like that, why you don't do this, and all of that good stuff comes with membership. So welcome now. Theron, thank you for the super chat. And, um, oh, Theron, did I miss something? Let me scroll back and see. Um, okay, Theron, thank you so much for the super chat. What happened? My I kind of click off my um my um comment feed for a few seconds so welcome jacqueline now anyone have any um yes claudia claudia Smith, mine is vegan anyone have any question and squalene comment 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 right now if you have any question and squalene comment 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 squalene i use that oil for my under eyes so someone already using the squalene and marciana wow i'm learning never heard of this oil before so now you know and you know even know the difference in squalene oil and um let's see who else is commenting if you're just joining welcome to our live we are talking about oils that is good for dark under eye circles puffy eyes and eye bags however when you come to this chat we just don't tell you the name of oils like use that oil use this oil we give you the source we let you know where it come from what make it this that what goes into it and all of that good stuff so that when you go out there or you go elsewhere you definitely know the difference you know exactly what you are getting Cynthia I have that oil but never tried Cynthia Cynthia 
you need to try the squalene and guess what add a little bit of that squalene with that rosehip oil and massage it all over your face at night and your neck and do that for a whole week squalene oil is amazing okay now someone has never hear of squalene that diana squalene is very much here and if you google squalene you're gonna be surprised it's right out there and it's right up in the skincare world it is one of now become a very popular oil out there for the skin and on this channel we bring you all of the popular ingredients all of the popular oils that is using in top of the line skincare products and this is one of them the squalene and price point you can find good reasonable price um with this squalene oil thank you so much love your channel um love you and your channel and love you right back jacqueline nikki how are you welcome to our live now tell us nikki are you here for dark on the ice circle first of all nikki where are you watching from are you like watching from boston massachusetts let me know because i'm not sure if this is the same nikki but comment and let me hear you um um no let me know where you're watching from so squalene oil guys if you're just joining what did you miss you missed the kiwi oil full details on the kiwi oil and you also missed the squalene oil that we are wrapping up just now now um claudia will try the squalene and rosehip together starting tonight yes 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 i will be getting mine and we have link below and um okay so this nikki is watching from maryland okay i do have a nikki in my family um nikki that's why i was saying and your picture just by watching for i look just like my nikki and we have uh Mirella watching from italy now tell me um Mirella, if this is how your name is pronounced do you guys have a lot of squalene oil in italy like does it like come dime a dozen there and the reason why i'm asking because it is made from olive and you know in italy you have a, a an abundance of olive like everything is olive 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 even a lot of olive groves and stuff like that and i think the next place that you can find a lot of olives is in spain so let me hear from you is um squalene oil readily available there and also when it comes to price point just as our um 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 organ oil that is you know when you go to Morocco, you can find um it's very very cheap I w i'm just wondering if squalene is pretty cheap in italy since it is made mostly from um olives so let me hear from you i really would like to know carlin chichi would these oil be safe on oily skin yes all of these oil that we're sharing today is oily skin friendly and if you're new to our channel you might not be aware that when you get oily skin Remember, I was talking about this squalene oil, and this is produced in the oil glands on the skin because it's it's embedded in the sebum on the skin. So that means when you have oily skin, there is traces of squalene in that oil. Now, what happens when you apply this oil on the skin? Your skin will already think that it have oil and produce less oil. So as a matter of fact, squalene oil is an amazing oil for oily skin and most of these oil is good now someone is coming on telling me to show my feet well if you want to see my feet i have a few videos showing you how to take care of your feet to exfoliate that your feet and get it soft and nice so go and watch that video now this is a family friendly channel so please make sure that you stick within the youtube guideline and even the facebook guideline if you are watching from facebook all right, so we are moving on with oils and um, let's see, I use just olive oil, organic, very, very good, olive oil. The process the process of making the squalene and the um, olive oil is different, but another day I'm gonna come with both of these oils and we're gonna dive into it, going into full details and, um, and share with you the difference in how they make both um of these oils so now we are going to move on and we're going to move on to some of these oils that some of you already know we talked so much about this one and this is actually a new one for some people but it's not new to my oldest but goodies on the channel and we're not going to have a show talking about dark on the eyes without talking about this cucumber seed oil i know some of you might be like you really love that oil and yes 
I really love the cucumber seed oil. The cucumber seed oil is amazing, okay? Dark on the eye circles, a puffy eyes. One of the reasons why I talk so much about this cucumber seed oil is because it's so light. Someone asks about oils on the skin right now, if you can use it on oily skin, Apart from grapeseed oil, this is the next best thing. Now, the estrogen properties of cucumber seed oil lighten the dark circles and the skin when you apply it regular under the oil. The oil is also anti-inflammatory, and these properties make it fast absorbing. That is why we like it. That means it's not going to leave your under eye greasy, and also when you apply it all over the skin, it's not going to leave the skin greasy. Perfect for oily skin. Perfect for dry skin and perfect for combination skin. And guess what? It is even amazing for a sensitive skin. Cucumber seed oil, you can use it all over your face, but you can also use it directly under your eyes. It has now become one of my new favorite oil. And especially when you are living somewhere you are, when the time gets really, really warm and you still want to use a little oil, but you don't want to have that greasy feel, the cucumber seed oil will take care of that. If you have acne on the skin or you have large pores, this is also another oil that is going to help the skin because of the light weight and also the anti-inflammatory property, the estrogen properties. And if you know anything about estrogen, you know that it helps to clean the skin and get rid of the last trace of dirt. This one will prevent the dirt from seeping into the pores amazing one to two drops of the cucumber seed oil can help with um with getting your skin to look good and also clearing the dark on the eye circles now there's also another ingredient in the cucumber seed oil which is known as linoleic acid and if you watch my channel you'll hear i talk a lot about linoleic acid it also have vitamin e and also cucumber seed have anti-aging properties that keep the skin protective and also have a barrier around the skin it also improves firmness and elasticity to the skin so it's another amazing oil that you can use if you have tried a cucumber seed oil before comment we're taking some comment if you're just joining give us a thumbs up we have a word tonight off the show that we're gonna ask for the word it's a secret word that we have tonight that we are sharing and at the end of the show we're gonna ask for that secret word so do not click off keep watching and make sure we keep repeating the word so it's very easy to pinpoint that word so the first three people that answer the word of the night at the end of the show will definitely get a little surprise um tonight all right so we are moving on with oil now let's see who is here does it have with razor bump yes that's an amazing question it do help because it have the anti-inflammatory properties so if you do that shaving very very good question if you do that shaving and you want um you want to use an oil because you want to keep it your skin moisturized it's a good oil with the anti-inflammatory properties and another thing you can mix a little one drop of cucumber seed oil with a little drop of a tea tree oil and rub it under your chin for that razor bump that is gonna help to keep all that you know razor bump away now someone want to know if rose hip oil is good for the under eyes and yes we have the rose hip oil on the list tonight so let's talk about the rose hip oil now most of you know that we use the rose hip oil a lot on this channel and the reason why we use it so much is because it contains antioxidant properties called um lycopene and beta carotene some people don't even realize that rose hip oil contain beta carotene most of the time when you talk about beta carotene you think you only get beta carotene from carrots okay most time it's like okay beta carotene carrots but you're gonna find beta carotene in most vegetables that have a bright color bright orange color so you're gonna find beta carotene in pumpkin you're gonna find beta carotene in squash and these other you know amazing fruits and vegetables now you find it also in the rose hip oil and rose hip oil is overall an amazing oil to use not only for the dark on the eye circles but also for your entire skin it makes a perfect anti-aging facial oil because of all of the amazing vitamins and minerals that have a b c and it's also one oil that contains omega-3 an amazing oil to use on the skin 
So if you have tried the rosehip oil for your dark on the eyes before, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. Let me take some questions and we are gonna move on. Claudia, just post process purchase more rosehip oil today. I also put a few drops in my eye cream. Yes, I always suggest that if you have any of these special oils and you already have an oil eye cream, go ahead and apply a few, add a few drops. Now, here is a quick trick. All of the oils that I share tonight can be mixed with aloe vera gel. Every single one of these oil can be mixed with aloe vera gel. So if you have that store-bought aloe vera gel, you can take a tablespoon of aloe vera gel any one of these oil, one to two drops, and there you get an amazing cream for your under eyes. You can choose to whisk it, or you can choose to blend it, or you can just choose to just use your, your, a little piece of a stick, mix it up, and use it under your eyes. That is an amazing combination for dark under eye circles, puffy eyes, and eye bags. Welcome, Loretta. Um, better late than never. All right, so I use rose ip toner. Now remember, rose ip, rose ip, and ro rose oil and rose ip is two different things. Okay, most time you're gonna find rose um rose water for toner. But rose hip oil, you're not gonna find rose hip oil as a toner. So if you have a rose hip oil toner, maybe you make a mistake, let me know because I didn't know that they have rose hip um, toner because it's an oil and a toner is normally water-based. So I'm 99% sure that that was a typo. All right, guys, if you have a question for me tonight, go ahead and ask right now because we're gonna move on to our next oil how many of you out there have vegetable oil in your kitchen how many of you right now watching if you have vegetable oil in your kitchen comment right now let me hear you comment you have vegetable oil comment don't just watch and not comment let me hear from you if you cook any at all and you have vegetable oil comment 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 right now right now comment 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 i want to see the chat light up if you have vegetable oil in your kitchen right now comment i'm waiting for the chat to light up to see who out here have vegetable oil now we have can all the oils be used at the same time or is there a limit to how many oils can be mixed together with aloe vera gel honestly there is no limit and that is the beauty of oils you can mix a wide variety of oils together First of all, some of the most high-end skincare products that you're gonna find are loaded with a wide variety of oils, and that is why they make it even more expensive because they look for the best of the best, and some of them have even three, four, five different oils. Turn the bottle around, read the ingredient, and you will see. Now we have a few people with um, vegetable oil, no veggie oil, just olive oil, I have, I have. Now, the next question that I want to ask is, um, okay, I, I somehow I missed that. Someone um, sent us some funds. I'm not seeing it here, but if I miss it, Jacqueline, you contribute something. Thanks for contributing. All right, so um, most of us have vegetable oil in our kitchen. Do you ever take the time how to look to see what that vegetable oil is made from? The word of vegetable oil could be vegetable or it could also be soy. Did you all know that? Most of us, vegetable oil is really soy. So um, if you have vegetable oil, it might be soy or it might not, but most time it is soy. And I want you all to know that if you have any oil with soy, even though some people can't eat soy and you know soy too much soy is not good like all of that stuff but when it comes on to using that soy oil on your skin topically you probably will probably now don't come at me for saying this but you probably will reap even more benefit from that oil on the skin topically soy oil is rich when i say rich i mean it is loaded with vitamin A. And vitamin A is gonna reduce the wrinkles under the eyes, and it's also gonna to help to clear those under eyes um, bags and also that dark under eye circle. So if you have vegetable oil in your kitchen, turn it over, look to see if it's soy oil. And if you don't have soy oil, it is one of the cheaper oil 
that you can buy you can get that soy oil and use it on the skin especially for anti-aging purposes especially if you have sagging neck and necklote and you're looking to reduce the wrinkles you're looking to get rid of all the little wrinkles right here at the crow's feet area then you get that soy oil so everyone as a matter of fact and not to soy oil is even better than some of your very popular oil that you use on your skin as special oil do the research for yourself and use up your soy oil so make sure to look in your kitchen and turn that vegetable oil bottle around and see what ingredient is in that vegetable oil and most time you're going to be like pleasantly surprised that it is a soy oil now julie don't know if i did it right but i mix rosehip oil grapeseed oil vitamin c oil to make moisturizer is that good that is actually very very excellent now if you want that to be like creamy all you need to do is to add a little bit of a rose water put that in the blender blend it up and you get an amazing cream but that is an amazing combination of ingredient now this is rich this combination is rich in vitamin c and vitamin e it's gonna have more vitamin c than vitamin a because you use the grapeseed oil which is rich in vitamin c and e and you also use the rosehip oil which is rich in vitamin a c and e but you also use um what are the oil you use oil vitamin c and you use the vitamin c oil so added vitamin c so because you use so much vitamin c this makes a great overnight moisturizer because it's rich in vitamin c and when vitamin c is exposed to sunlight is lose the potency so this makes sure that you have here it's best used at night after you do your regular nighttime skincare routine how about rose oil and aloe vera oil i'm going to take this question really really quick now rose oil you have rose oil and you have rose essential oil so there's two oils that is out there which contain rose now rose if oil is not rose oil and it is not rose essential oil now rose essential oil you're gonna find that you can use that in your bathtub you know you want that nice rose fragrance when the water eat it and you just you know you're gonna find that in your nice soap any essential oils whatsoever whether it is rose essential oil you name it make sure to not use it directly on the skin any essential oil you need a carrier oil with it because essential oil is made to be diluted by diluted with a form of an oil that you know make it be more skin friendly carrier oil or coconut oil um sweet almond oil um avocado oil grapeseed oil soy oil coconut i already said coconut oil but all of those oils are carrier oil and to one teaspoon of uh, carrier oil to two to three drops of any essential oil thank you latoya no latasha latasha stanfield for contributing to our channel super sticker guys you can use the super sticker which is below the live chat you can contribute anything 99 cent a dollar two dollars three dollars name it if you want to support the channel you can contribute what do we do with the contribution that we make from our live chat we store all of that up and we do our yearly funny enough someone was asking on my comment today about the yearly giveaway i was like it's just july it's just july someone was asking about the yearly giveaway like when i'm gonna announce it all right so um i see people are waiting for that so that is what we use our live um whatever we make on the live show that is what we use the money for we save it up and we do our yearly um end of year giveaway all right so we are moving if you're just joining welcome and if you're wondering what is going on with my hair you see a little piece of paint here this is paint i you know was doing some painting and it's 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 what it is and now it's real life all right so um we have a word tonight that we mentioned earlier but let me get you one more oil today we just brought you like some of the best oil that you can use now this is one oil and i think this is the last one that i have on my thing and it is castor oil now a lot of people are not aware 
that castor oil is amazing for dark under eye circles, especially the Jamaican black castor oil. Now, not to be, you know, because I'm Jamaican, but if you are an oldies, you already know the whole story about the castor oil. Now, when it comes on to the dark under eye circles, you can use the, 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 the clear or you can use the dark. I prefer to use the dark, but anyone is going to have with that dark circles and wrinkles and fine lines. You do not need a lot, just a little dab of it. And it's best to warm this with your finger when you're going to use it under your eyes. So you just warm it. And once it is warmed, then you're going to dab it under your eyes. Now, if you want to really know how to take care of your under eyes, how to keep it looking young, fresh and bright, and also get rid of the eyeballs, the puffy eyes, then watch our 25 day skincare challenge. The, I think it's day two that we go deep into talking about the eyes. And also you can join us come September. We're going to have another 25 day skincare challenge. And this time we really want you to be a part of it. We want to make it fun and you know happy. And you're really going to learn even more. We're going to dive deeper into how to take care of your skin. Now we have, uh, a little thing that we want to do next month. Believe it or not, next month start on Sunday. How many of you are aware that August starts on Sunday? Can you believe it? We are almost at the end. No wonder someone was saying, you know, when am I going to announce the end of year giveaway? Because August starts Sunday. Now we are looking, I think we have six, maybe six people so far that are going to take part in our um, ice, ice, treatment for the skin early morning ice water we are going to be dunking our face in ice water on live on one of these shows now someone was suggesting that we have the show on as one of our sunday show however we normally talk about this in our weekday show or our evening show like this so let me hear from you now watching if you want us do you think sunday is the best day to bring that show on sunday we're on at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time or do you think it's best to bring it on like a saturday no today it is friday like a friday night like this or on a saturday night let me see you comment really really quick which day do you think is best a sunday which is 4 30 p.m or a saturday or friday evening which is about 7 to 7 30. just give me a feedback really really quick and if you're a member of the channel send us an email and put your two cents in and let me hear what our members have to say when is the best time to have a show like this and also if you're now watching and you want to be a part of that you're going to be live so you have to be mindful of that all we want you to do for the show is to bring a, a, a bowl with some ice cold water and when we say dunk we're all going to dunk our face in the ice cold water and then we're going to ask one by one how does it make you feel and what you think about it that's all you're going to do but you need to send to chichibuti at gmail.com send us um for the um to tell us that you want to be on the show so that we could arrange to get you to get the link like a couple days before so that you can play around with the with the link and make sure that you know exactly how to work the link so still if you want we're still looking i wanted to get about 10 people we have about six so far so definitely make sure to send your information so we have a lot of friday and saturday going on and just what i thought i'm not seeing anyone saying sunday so so far we have a lot and i'm normally looking at my dieted subscribers like what they're saying what night is best so we find that some of my um, faithful subscribers are saying um friday or saturday so friday or saturday so we're going to decide whether friday or saturday so definitely i'm thinking that we're going to end up ruling out a sunday um, because we don't see any Sunday on at all. And most of you all know that the Sunday show is a little bit more serious <laughs> than the weekday show. So it's going to be a, most likely on a Friday or a Saturday night. And it should be fun. So if you still want to join, um, you can join. So send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com. What do you think about the consumption of castor oil and we're getting this comment from jacqueline now growing up growing up we used to get a little 
teaspoon of castor oil. Now, my grandmother used to give us this. I'm trying to remember if we used to get it like before back to school or something like that. So definitely I grew up um, taking this, you know, the taste. <laughs> really bad tasting thing but it's really good for the skin right so i grew up taking it now i honestly i have not like you know since i'm an adult like dive deep into really the benefits and the this and the that of taking castor oil but i have no issue with it since i grew up taking it okay all right so we are moving on and you're gonna find like a lot of like Caribbean, I, I'm, I'm assuming Caribbean, you know, all the grandma and all of that normally give the kids um, the two things you get, you get the castor oil and you get the cod liver oil, okay? So I grew up um, getting a teaspoon of cod liver oil and a teaspoon of castor oil, all right? And another thing, back to school, we normally get something they call some Pyrox or something. So Claudia just got cod liver oil every day as a see? I'm not the only one, right? There's someone who actually get this cod liver oil also. They knew what they were doing because now a lot of people are like, you know, taking cod liver oil as supplement for, because of that omega-3, all right? And just so as the fish oil, which is really good because it's rich in omega-3. And sometimes we only eat fish and we don't really eat the vegetables and fruit and, and stuff that have the omega-3. So to get a little vitamin E, or a little cod liver oil or a little fish oil which is really oil from the fish is good um for you overall that's what i'm thinking and the castor oil is good for going to do number two as jill stated now someone um i still have night <laughs> All right, okay, okay. I know where this is coming from. Margaret, in Barbados, we, we use it to rub the children's tummy when they are sick. And guess what? This, the castor oil, and let's talk a little bit about the castor oil for real, okay? Now, the one I have is um, Jamaican black castor oil. And, and let me tell you, this castor oil, and I did a video a couple of years ago using it to show you how you can rub it on the area if you have like you know female issues and all of that fibroid and stuff like that and because you know the older generation really swear by this they swear if you get little stomach ache or whatever tummy ache and also you know when you're a young young teenager and you start you reach puberty and you know what comes with puberty as a young teenage girl then they would use this also to rub on that stomach when you you know you have the little issue the little thing going on there's a little pain going on so yeah so they get this we're by the castor oil they let us drink it and they also let us use it for it, all different kind of various um, issues. And nowadays, the castor oil has actually um, rose back to the top because of the many benefits, like for your hair, your nails, and all of that good stuff. So overall, the grandparents, they know what they were saying because it's an hands down good oil. And here someone is saying that it is good for something else, which we cannot feature on the show. But if you, in the comment, you're gonna see what Sharon Jordan is also saying what the castor oil is good for. Now, Jacqueline, my mom did to a good bowel release. So this is the reason why, like nowadays, if you take a little bit of this castor oil, especially if you're looking to lose weight, it's actually helped to just flush, 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 flush. So it's all very, very good that we all know about this castor oil. It's a big deal it's a big deal and it's something that is good to have it's really something that is good to have um and really not only to have it but also to use it and because of the smell it's get a bad rap when it comes on to skincare but nowadays people are just going for it and not care about the smell because it's really help the skin to look good and it help you to feel good if you can tolerate taking a teaspoon of the castor oil all right guys so tonight we did some oils and let's do a quick recap we talk about the kiwi oil we also did the squalene oil we also did some rosehip oil 
We do it some cucumber seed oil. We also do some Jamaican black castor oil. And I also was going to talk a bit about, um, we did soy oil. And I ha was going to talk about pomegranate seed oil, but I didn't get there. And we also do talk a little bit about aloe vera gel. All of these oils that is here, you can mix it with aloe vera gel. Now, a few days ago, I came on and I was talking about aloe vera gel. And I was telling you that that one that I use in the green tub, that is very very jelly like is you know they had something to it to create that gel from it but if you want the real aloe vera gel that is just gonna run like water like just how a real aloe vera is supposed to be these are the better ones that comes in these bottles and this bottle look black and camera but it's really a dark dark I think this one is dark green or dark blue dark green bottle these come with the more hundred percent pure it said 100 percent pure and natural aloe vera gel so you know it's gonna have probably 05 percent of some form of a preservative but if you're if you don't have fresh aloe vera gel these are the this is not a sponsored video this is my personal aloe vera gel and from using all different type of store-bought i know that these kinds these that comes in these long bottle which some of you might find liquefy is more closer to the this is a closest to the natural aloe vera gel that you can get okay all right so right now during the course of the night we actually have um, a word for the night, and there was a secret word, a secret word that we mentioned. So the very first three person that um, get the secret word that we mentioned is gonna get two of these oils um, that we mentioned tonight. So we have the cucumber seed oil, we have the... Um, castor oil, we have the kiwi oil, we have the squalene oil, and we also have the rose hip oil. And we talk about the aloe vera gel, but the aloe vera gel is out. What we want is the secret word of the night, the first three people. And on it for, for this live, believe it or not, and sorry to say, we hope that you have to be in sorry guys you have to be in in america or you have to be in canada or you have to be in the uk i think that's the three country that we're going to be able to ship these oils to if i miss any i think france too if you're in france you can actually um comment we we'll, we need the three first people to guess the secret word don't worry you can still guess if you're from another country and we'll see it go if you get it right okay but more so it might take a while like margaret we still didn't get your gift to you so go ahead and comment we want to hear what do you think the secret word of the night is if you the very first three people that get the secret word of the night is gonna get two of our oils the first three people and we're waiting for more people to comment Go ahead and comment. What do you think the secret word of the night is? If you know what the secret word of the night is, comment, comment, comment. We're waiting for three people to get the secret word, and we're going to share two oils with you. Don't just watch and not comment. Take a chance. You just never know. You might just be lucky to guess the word. Um, so we want to hear you to comment, 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 comment. And keep the comment coming, keep the comment coming. We have um, three people that we want to give us something to, three oils, two oils each to each person. And if funny enough, a lot of people is saying it's squalene, but it is actually not squalene. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And uh, I'm gonna give it away because we have one person. So far, one person comment the secret word. One person so far comment the secret word. We're not gonna say who that person is because we want two more people to comment the secret word. So the secret word is already on the board and we have one person that got the secret secret word so far we have two people with the secret word we have two people with the secret word so we are okay so i think we are done um let me see let me to be let me be fair let me be fair let me see the first person with the secret word because i know when that 
first person went up and we're gonna do it in order C L A U D I A Claudia Simmet had the first a secret word the next person was Jacqueline and that Jacqueline Dallas and the third person was um, Nazi Nazi N Wang Ko that's N G O Z I N W A N K W O. Where are you watching from, Nazi? Let me hear where you're watching from. Comment, comment right now. Let me hear where you're watching from. And we have three winners. And both of you, you're all gonna get two oils. If you want to, when you send your information, you can actually choose what two oils you want, okay? When you send your information to us, you can choose what two oils, but you can choose any of the oils that we mentioned tonight, any two that you are interested in. So Nazi is watching from Dubai. That is the issue. We tend, we have one person that watched from Dubai before. We didn't get a chance to send the gift out. Don't know how we're gonna get it to you, Nazi, but we will try. So with that said, we are gonna write the name of the next person below nazi that actually use the word oil and and that's julie ali okay so and let me hear from fear guys the first person you're all watching so we want to be fair julie ali the first person that use oil for me on my end that i'm seeing is uh, claudia simmet the second name that on my end that I'm seeing is Jacqueline Dallas. The third person is Nazi. However, oh, she's all the way in Dubai, so we're not sure how that is going to go. So the next person in line is Julia. If I am off, comment and let me know because I want to be fair. I don't see all the comments, and that is why I am asking on your end if this is correct. So let me hear a few of you comment. And let me know if I get it right, okay? If I got it right, let me know. I don't see all the comments, but the first comment that I saw on my end was from Claudia. If you're watching and you scroll through your comment and I got it right, let me know. If I got it wrong, let me know because I want to be fair. So if you're just joining, um, somebody said they saw Rene said, and where did Rene fall? Oh, Rene said natural oils, and that was before. Let's let me see. Okay, so I'm seeing Rene said oils. Yes, Rene said oil. Taryn said natural oil. Okay, so let me see um, where these are falling. I want to be fair. Help me out here, guys. Um, help me out here. Let me be fair. Let me be fair. I'm scrolling. I don't see all the comments, but when I scroll back, I can see more comments so i'm going through help me out guys who you think the first three people are from your end let me hear guys from your end who do you think the first three people are taryn did say natural oil at 8 40. and then renee said oils at 8 40 also so taryn and renee said oils at 8 40 and um oh those were before claudia thank you so much guys so taren um renee and claudia so that's what i could pick up on mine however because we call julie we still will add julie so we have taren um renee claudia and uh, you know what we already um say jackie are so so let's be fair so let's let's let me see the comment i'm actually glad that i did this because i really want to renee claudia and jacqueline renee claudia and jacqueline so we have i saw terence so terence said natural oil i think we should also um include terence so we have teren renee claudia and jacqueline Red Taryn, Renee, Claudia, and Jacqueline. And because I call you out, Julie, we also going to add you just to be fair. So the winners are Taryn, who said natural oil. Fair enough, we give it to her. And then we have um, Renee that said oil first. Then we have Claudia. Then we have Jacqueline. And we have our subscribers from Dubai, which that is 
um, um, Angin, and then we also mentioned Julia. Because we mentioned Julia, we're going to throw Julia in it. What you need to do is to send your information. Most of you on this list already know the drill, maybe except Claudia. So you send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com, and you can actually choose the two oils that you want you got to put your phone number you have to be in any other country that i stated and you have to give your home address your real home address and your real name when you send your information just tell me what your screen name is and then you put your name underneath want to be fair if you think this was fair tonight guys comment let me hear you i don't want anyone clicking off without feeling that we did it fair remember i said i didn't see all the comments on mine if you think it is fair comment right now let me see it go up at least 10 people let me see here if you think that this was done fairly and thanks so much for those of you who actually you know comment and let me know that um oh all right nazi so send the information nazi Okay, so send the information, Nazi. Send your address for in Baltimore to the to chichibuti at gmail.com and you definitely will get your oil. So perfect, 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 perfect. Now, Taryn, you know what? Listen, Taryn, you already know what to do, all right? You already know what to do. All right, so if you think it was done fairly, comment. Let me hear, guys. This was done fairly. Because, as I said, the comment could be a little tricky. So we have a few people who feel like, yes, it was done fairly. All right, guys. So that is my time tonight. It is a Friday night. Tomorrow we might be on. Well, I'm going to be on tomorrow night. It's the end of the month. And we are going to be on. And we've come with another topic. So set your clock. We're going to be on tomorrow between 7 and 7.30, right? We're going to send out the information pretty early. Most likely, it's going to be around about 7.30. This time, I think, is a good time. So the secret word of the night is oils, okay? Oils. And we talk about oils right during the night. So tomorrow, come again. We have another fun night. We have another fun topic. And guess what? If you missed the video that we post today, go and watch it. If you missed the lineup of videos that we post this week, go and watch it next month, which is August month, starting Sunday the 1st. We're going to have some new things coming on the channel, and we're going to have some more things that's going to include members, which we, I'm going to reach out to my members to you know get them in the loop, and we're going to be having a fun August month. So be prepared for that. Come September, we're bringing back our full weekdays with Chicha Beauty. That is in the daytime at 12 noon. And we're also going to do our Let's Talk. Um, we're also going to do our skincare, 25 days skincare challenge. So stay tuned for that. Tomorrow, Central Time, 6.30. Eastern Time, 7.30. We're going to be here. And what time would that be mountain time? Let me know. All right, guys. Remember, for all of those who actually have their little oils to get, remember, you need to send your phone number and your address and your government name, okay? Be good to yourself. Love you. Support the channel. For those of you who contribute to our channel tonight, we're grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here all the time. Support us by watching our videos and also support us by sharing the videos on your social media. Now, remember, for those of you who are interested in our group that we want to start on the Zoom, as you know, someone suggests, which is an amazing idea, just put in the subject Zoom and put your name so that we can arrange it to send the link to you whenever we're going to start. And we'll come back here and we advertise it, which we could do it whether a monthly get together or a weekly get together no karen i still remember that you didn't get your gift from last week all right so if you want to be a part of our women's group that we're going to start send to chichi beauty let me put it up for you all to see where you're going to send your information to chichi beauty at gmail.com we also have our website guys it's chichi beauty.com 
if you want print out videos like you want i post a video and you want the recipe you want it in written form go on the website we have the recipes over on the website and the website is chichibeauty.com we also will give you more information on the website and basically you know a little bit more details on some of the videos so visit our website chichibeauty.com and support us we also have our facebook page if you want to be a part of the facebook page go over there like the facebook page and also join our facebook group and we also have our weight loss facebook group that you can join be good to yourself love yourself and i'll see you here tomorrow for another live show can't wait for tomorrow guys remember if you want to be a part of the ice water you know video send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com good